The RAC is a 116 year old company. It was set up to service the young motorists as they were in the um, late uh, 19th century. Um, and since then we've been providing breakdown services for those motorists in the UK. Our customers are now using a range of, uh, range of channels to come to us. Traditionally it was just the telephone. We're now finding that they'll ring us on their cell phones. Um, they'll also contact us over the internet. We have uh, a range of mobile applications that they're now using. And we've started introducing new technologies where we can get the cars to talk to us as a company. About uh, two years ago, um, the RAC um, decided to do a complete, complete refresh of the services it offered to its members. To do that, we need to look at our underlying um, systems to make sure that we can provide those new services going forward. What we discovered was that we had a whole range of old legacy systems, some of which were 10, 15, 20 years old, um, others were brand new, and they're all quite um, uh, built in such a way that um, they all work separately, and over time, people had connected them together. There are about 500 point-to-point -point connections uh, within our estate, about 60 or 70 um, traditional applications. Um, we're also connected to a number of uh, business partners and customers, and we had about another 180 of these. Our business was very keen to offer this whole new range of services to our members, and to do that, they wanted new systems in place quite quickly. We needed something that was robust and scalable, so that when we started growing um, over the next year or so in a way that we'd never seen before, we were able then to harness the scalability and the performance of the toolset that we went for. The concept that we took for what we were doing was a single integration hub across the whole business. We looked at um, um, the integration technologies that were out there that we felt could take us into this, um, into this future and protect our past. And for us, there was only one solution in the end, and that was IBM's message broker. The RSC chose Prolifix to be our partner in this area because they could demonstrate a long track record in delivering the types of systems that we're looking to do. Um, we found that we had a simplified set of connections between our systems. Um, they were more, more robustly built than they had been before. Um, we've gone with the, the MQ for messaging um, to complement the message broker itself. So the approach we took was very much an agile approach. We built a stable message broker instance that allowed us to add new services quicker. And the number of incidents and problems that we've had with it has, has dropped by about 90% um, on those um, areas that we've now changed already. And we expect the same to happen with the rest of it. One of the benefits that has always been stated for SOA is the ability to reuse services. And this is now accelerating the development of, of new services. It's also reducing the cost of developing each new one. So whereas before it was taking three or four weeks to develop each service, we're now getting it down to 10 days, we'll we can get it down further and possibly automate that in the future. Prolifix have been the people who've been able that to happen. Without them, we would not have delivered what we had to deliver. As far as the, um, our business is concerned, it enables us then to channel the information to the right backend systems, um, to communicate with the right third parties, um, to give the services back to the members that we have. So the, um, the consistency of experience that we're wanting to offer them, the ability to capture all the information that we need to, to give the right answers back, that's all been enabled by, by the hub. So my feeling is that uh, it is the, the key that's unlocked the future for us.